Okay. And we are only five officers as a small unit. Hmm. So I went and saluted him. Hmm. He said, uh, "You, where are you from? Which university? Okay. Benares University." Hmm. Ah, sit down. Sat down. I was surprised. I was. I can never expect it. Then said, uh, "Today evening you will be the guest. Okay. Because you are going to be dined in and wined in." He said, "Uh." uh Stop going to beer below. Okay. So I don't drink. On the very first day, you are defying your boss. Sorry, yes. sir. Okay. So they forced me to drink. I drank the beer. Okay. And in the after that, Kala, I went in the tent. And and, and tent. how many beers did you have that night? How many? How many beers did you have that night? No, no, only the one large tanker. Okay, that's fair. And. Uh, Next morning, I was vomiting in the tent. No, I was in the tent. Okay. Next morning, I started vomiting like hell. Oh, that was your and first beer experience. The vomiting, <laughs> vomiting noise was heard by the big, the my boss hmm. who was living in a tent uh, slightly far away from mine, hmm. and his wife also was there. Okay. So both of them got alarmed. Hmm. Then they, uh, then they came rushed to my tent. They okay. found me. I was almost getting un- unconscious. Hmm. Then they realized that it's due to the beer. So after that, my ma- the uh, boss said, "So far, so far. In future, I will never force anybody to drink beer." So that was the first interaction. I'm Savita and I'm on Cheers Chatty. And uh, my first exposure to beer. So I come from a family where alcohol was a norm. And the exposure only came at an age when alcohol became something I experimented with. So I was in a phase of experimentation of figuring out what I really liked. I had no inhibitions on choosing a drink, and somebody offered me a beer. It tasted bitter, and it did not suit my taste at that time. Over a period of time, thanks to the fact that I have friends who love beer and who will swear by their beers, and one friend who actually says that beer is God's own urine sent from the heavens above. Uh, from that perspective, I opened up my mind to trying it a few more times. Every time I tried it, I acclimatized a little more. Uh, is it my favorite drink today? It's not. But I do understand that amongst all the alcohols, beer has the largest variety. It can be brewed differently, and it has various flavors. And uh, it's a matter of getting used to. Uh, the kind of beers that I've tasted of late are awesome. And uh, can't wait for the COVID crisis to get my hands on a few. This is Sharon Bagliwala. As my name goes, um, I'm a huge fan of beer and wine per se. Uh, my first beer experience was at the age of 25, 26, probably much after I started working, thanks to the ad agency and my folks around there at uh, Grey. So this was one of the parties where kind of you 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 come in late at home, and late was like 11 or 12 in those days for me. um and uh, i walk in and i stretch out my hand to my father uh and he smells it and he says aje mari ne avi and i'm shocked i'm like this was the first time ever i've kind of had one glass of beer or probably one and a half glass of beer and uh my dad just happened to sense it so it was scary for me but i'm like uh dad chill and get used to it so yeah that was my first beer experience and of course then post that there have been many sessions with my dad and me kind of uh, grabbing a bud and you know saying cheers to each other uh, so thank you chatty thanks uh, thanks to cheers chatty for uh, having me relive this experience once again <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Hey Chai, it was nice to see you at your podcast. That's uh, me, Rajesh, the original pure guzzler. Well, uh, as I said, uh, I started uh, when I was uh, 18 and uh, it was at a party hosted by my brother-in-law. Casually, he asked me, hey, be a man, have some beer. I said, all right, bro. And he said, okay, how about uh, being a part of a part of the competition? And I said, all right, I'm on for it. And uh, to my surprise, I beat him hands down. And uh, since then, I've never stopped. Uh, well, I would be glad if you have any such uh, bottoms of competition. I would love to be there. And all the best for your uh, podcast. Do well. And I know you're good. Uh, you're awesome. You're a great company. And uh, we'll sit very soon for a bottle of beer. And maybe two, four or many more. All right. Take care. Chari. Do well. God bless. Uh, see you soon. Hi, I'm Pallavi Naidu, founder of Alcobuzz and today I'm on Cheers Chatty talking about my beer journey. Well, my initiation into the world of alcohol started with beer. It was the first drink that I had and I vividly remember how much I hated it. I was in college and a friend simply offered it to me. I had the beer almost as an act of rebellion. I remember right from the smell to the taste, it was pretty awful. I could not imagine anyone drinking this for pleasure or for fun. I clearly remember that beer was Stroh's, which is not available in India anymore. Interestingly, who would have thought that a few years down the line, beer would be my go-to drink for unwinding? And moreover, who would have thought that one day, I would actually make a career talking about alcohol? I owe it all to that one beer that I dared to sip so many years ago. Today, I love beer for its simplicity and no fuss, full face attitude. Give me a stout or a dark beer any day. The Indian craft beer scene is about to explode and I can't wait to see all the wonderful beers that come out of it. Thanks for having me over, Chatty. Have a great day.